been two days since Charlie has eaten and um, he's not well at all and I'm like really really worried about him and I'm so frustrated at the same time because I feel like it's been this is like the fourth time now that I've taken him to the vets for the same thing and this time there's um, it's there's a different woman so there was a vet so apparently the guy that I've been seeing is um, he specializes in larger animals and um, so like horses and cows and all that kind of stuff or whatever but this particular vet that's there on Wednesdays I guess um, is specializes in small breeds small animals um, and so he had already shared his x-rays, um, Charlie's x-rays with her and was asking her what her opinion was on him. So when I came in, she already knew about him. Um, and so she said she had some concerns um, when he showed her the x-rays and there's a new sonogram machine, I guess, that they're getting and it comes in this afternoon. So she wants to keep him. So she's put him on IV fluids. Um, because he hasn't eaten or drinking in two days and he's completely lethargic obviously because he hasn't um, it's just so sad you know what I mean it's like it's horrible he's like so he weighs so little to begin with um, but anyway so I pray to God that she will be able to help him and yeah so it's now two o'clock in the afternoon I just need to turn around now because I just passed where I need to go. I just need to grab a couple of things um, and then pick Tierney up from school at 3 plus a colleague I'm picking up um, at 3 only because um, he's interested in the car so I'm thankful about that. So um, I'm going to go back with him to his house and um, let his wife drive the car and stuff and yeah. And then I'll go back. Um, my allergies are still driving me nuts, sorry. And then I'll go back um, between 5 and 5.30. She said she'd call me. Sorry, I'm getting ready to sneeze. Anyways. Hey guys, so it's Wednesday night. It's um, after 8 o'clock in the evening. And um, so things took a turn for the worse with Charlie. And um, I, um, so he had earlier, I'm trying to remember where I left off. He had earlier um, an IV that was, that they had put in um, to give him fluids and stuff because he was so dehydrated and lethargic. Sorry, I'm getting ready to sneeze. I'm so over these allergies. Um, and um, and then um, I had to go back at five to pick him up. And when I came back at five, um, the vet came out and um, pulled me into a separate room, which I knew was not a good sign. Um, honestly, the way the vet came in, the assistant came in, and then the, the man, the other vet, all three of them came to us at one point. Um, and the way they had put it was basically that they didn't, they didn't, they didn't think he was going to make it. And so, um, it was without a doubt, um, had to have an emergency surgery and they weren't able to do it. So they referred us to a clinic that was in Heppenheim, which is about 15 minutes away or so. Um, anyway, so it was just horrible and it's, it's, uh, anyway, so, um, the, we, he was submitted for surgery, um, and I think they were just really concerned because he's so little and he weighs so little and he's lost so much weight just from being sick and stuff and not eating. Um, but having said that, um, this is what they pulled out of his stomach. Can you imagine? I mean, can you even see this? It's disgusting. I mean, they asked me beforehand if he was like um, what they called like a nibbler. And I'm like, mm, no, not really. Like he's every once in a while he'll grab like, you know, not every once in a while, but a lot of times he'll grab like the caps of my water bottles, you know, because I drink so much water or whatever. Um, he, he'll take those caps and he'll chew on those or whatever. But 
This is, none of this is plastic. This is all hair and I don't even know what is in here. I mean, can you imagine? She was saying how painful this had to have been for him. So, um, we didn't leave while he was having the emergency surgery, but um, she then came out afterwards and showed us that this is what she'd found or whatever and said that um, he hadn't woken up yet, but that he obviously needed to stay there overnight. And then tomorrow um, at 9.30, I need to call to check on him to see how he's doing. And she said they won't release him until he's doing better, until he's eaten something um, and had something to drink and stuff. So fingers crossed for him. And I told her that we fly out soon and that he has to be healthy in order to fly out. And she seemed to think that he would be okay. She's also running some blood work on his pancreas too to check that because she said that she just... Um, it seemed like um, there might be something else going on too. So anyways, I'm so, so thankful that he's okay. Um, and I'll, I'll just keep you guys updated as, as things um, transpire. Yeah. So anyways, I'm, I'm going to say goodnight.